Hello, welcome you all. In today's session, we will discuss what to do after engineering. What to do after B.Tech? How many of you wonder which are the best career option after engineering? Engineering is among the most popular graduation course that students take after completion of the school. Choosing the right career can be confusing for many students. And the world is full of opportunities and you might not be aware of most of them. One has to know the list of all career options after engineering to select the right one. Let's see. These are the different opportunities. Like first is the higher study. One of the most popular career option after engineering is to pursue further studies. If you are an engineering student, then you can prepare for the higher study either in India or in the foreign. Second is job. It is the one of the most favorite career option after engineering. For most of the engineering students, you can choose to get an engineering job through like first option civil service which is one of the most prestigious job for the social service like indian administrative service engineering service examination then second option is selection of government job which are available as per the seat availability in the different sector for the different state in that public sector undertaking are a major part of the indian economy that comprises public services and enterprises and it provides service that benefit it entire society and you can also join the defense sector. Third option, you can choose to get an engineering job through campus placement as a private job or an MNC. Campus placement can help you get a high paying job even before you get your degree. Campus placement can be very attractive. The number of job offers has increased considerably high in the past few years. Now uh, you can say third option is the entrepreneurship. How having an engineering degree will provide many different job opportunities. One of the scale of possibility include becoming entrepreneurship. Starting a new business can be quite challenging. However, an engineer possesses a few characteristics that it will make the transition a bit easier. Next up is a consultancy. An engineering consult provides an independent expert opinion, service or solution to engineering or science related matters to industry construction firms, government and other interested developers. These most consulting engineering services are available through engineering consultancy firms. You will have to affiliate yourself with a company when beginning your career. Experts with a proven portfolio are more lucrative and can land jobs as sole practitioner. The size of the consulting firm will vary from partnership with two or three consultants to a fully fledged corporation with thousands of employees in multiple countries. Next, like uh, one by one, we see the all the options. First is a higher studies. Higher study in India through GATE, MEMT. One of the most popular career option after engineering is to pursue further study. If you are a BTEC student, then you can prepare for GATE exam. GATE is a graduate aptitude test in engineering. It is an exam that tests the comprehensive understanding of undergraduate engineering subject. With an excellent GATE score, you can enter prestigious engineering college like IIT, NITs, IIT, or MTech. MTech is one of the most preferred courses after engineering. Uh, here you see the IIT and ISPOR-IT. There is a difference between IIT and ISPOR-IT. IIT is an Indian Institute of Technology uh, that offers course of BTech, MTech, whereas ISPOR-IT is an Indian Institute of Information Technology that is uh, also gives a uh, course for IT and electronic communication engineering branch related courses. IIT is run by a central government whereas ISQRIT is funded by private and government. ISQRIT is a recent creation and mostly ISQRIT are funded by private software company like Infosys and all the that. IIT tech diverse discipline, ISQRIT pretty much teach computer related discipline only. Now, Next is the MBA, GATE. There is no doubt that it is the biggest MBA interest test in country in the IIM, Indian Institute of Management, conduct this common admission test on a rotational basis. The GATE examiner entry requirement for admission into the IIMs and India's top business school, getting an MBA from reputed institutes, is a dream for many aspirants. 
application seeking admission to nba program must appear for the kate examination now higher study in forest if you are planning to study abroad the admission process will require you to give one language exam and one standardized exam however depending on the country course college or university you are targeting you may be attempt from standard exam but you will still be required to take one language exam to show english language proficiency depending on the course and college university you may also be required to provide score of one of standardized test the language exam show your english proficiency skill you need to give either one of the language exam to get admission to any university in english speaking country and these are required for a person almost all courses undergraduate course post graduate course certificate or diploma different countries give prefer to one language exam or others few of the top english language exam which are used by prominent study abroad destination like uh, gmat graduate management admission test then gre graduate record examination then ielts international english language testing system then tofel test of english as a foreign language and uh, pt pearson test of english that's it now we move to the job it is one of the most favorite career option after engineering for most of the engineering students now in this case civil service first we consider civil service so upsc post of 24 different civil service are filled through civil service examination conducted by union public service commission ups out of lakhs of aspirant only a few thousand student can successfully clear this examination although there are different civil services the most popular services are indian administrative service ias indian police service ips and indian foreign service ifs the allotment of the service to successful candidate depends on the ranking obtained in the examination a candidate after getting selected in service is appointed to various posts within that service except in some cases where he or she may got a deputation to another department in another service next the ies or engineering service examination or indian engineering service comprise of engineer who work under the government of india and designated as class 1 officer the administer a large segment of the public sector economy which consist of indian railways power telecommunication center volta engineering defense service of engineering center engineering service the nature of work performed by this bureaucrats largely depends on their engineering branch and the service or cadre they are recruited in the career progression goes smoothly attaining high esteem the first position offered is that of the assistant executive engineer and the hierarchy ends at the position of chairman or managing director then government job government job which available as per the state availability in the different sector or the different state in that public sector undertaking psu are a major part of the indian economy that comprises public service and enterprise and it provides service that benefit to entire society when we have already mentioned that gate exam it would be wrong to ignore psu after engineering you can also choose to enter government or psu and get a good paying job the competition level for this job is quite high but it's worth it in the ends ps to check your gate score for requirement there are multiple ps and each of them announce the required gate score for application every year they only consider the gate score of the specific year if you work hard then you can even get a good job in maharatna ps ongc iocl cell ntpc and others these jobs are offer a great pay security and give you a respectable position in society if you are wondering what to do after btech ps is a good option now you can also join a defense sector indian armed force has a three wings the indian army the indian air force and the indian navy the indian army is the land base whereas the indian armed air force and indian navy in the charge of their air and water bodies respectively as a btech engineering graduate you can find employment opportunity in all three wings of the indian armed forces only the criteria for joining each is different for students who are wondering what to do after engineering joining force is a good option the indian army is always on the lookout for technically sound professional who can support the troops on the field usually engineer who join the indian army are allotted to any of the three branches corps of engineering corps of electronics and mechanical engineer and corps of signal you can join the army through technical graduate course and ssc tech and pre skill 
then uh, private job still looking for a option before deciding what to do after engineering uh, while campus placement are an excellent source for getting leads for the private sector it does not harm to include in some research of your own the best way to start it by registering in reputed job portal like linkedin and indeed to look for jobs relevant to your expertise area and that much your job profile interest next entrepreneurship having an engineering degree will provide many different job opportunities one of the career possibility include becoming an entrepreneur starting a new business can be quite challenging however an engineer possess a few characteristics that will make a transition bit easier you can also choose an entrepreneur after engineering gone are the days when engineering graduate used to stay away from the entrepreneurship nowadays the success of many startup is for many engineers to set up their own business as an engineer entrepreneurship you will have to freedom to express your creativity and ideas entrepreneurship process requires some financial resource to make it big it is useful to break the entrepreneurial process into different phase idea generation opportunity evaluation planning uh, company formation launching growth opportunity evaluation with identify problem with solution and planning steps are expanded in greater detail with some strategy and execution with the help of r&d which require pattern trademark copyright and marketing then consultancy engineering consultant offers some expert advice on a subject or bring different perspective to virtually any engineering project the consultant play a multi-phase role and will take whatever position the job at hand require as an engineer consultant you can be an advisor to an upcoming engineering company that look and decline project and need an expert touch to do something right or to fix or stabilize who come into the ensure that everything is done right other responsibility like uh, being the project specific boss and being advisor or catalyst to provide actionable decision to accelerate project a general critic to find the flaws in the system and offer suggestion that will make it better and many other ways so these are the different uh, opportunity after completion of b and b tech uh, request to like this video share among your friends press bell like, icon with the latest video information of the channel and comment if you want to know detailed discussion of the any project then request to put comment in the comment section thank you